superstar Dolph Ziggler. AJ South. What's going on guys? Brett Alive back with another video and today we have a review video for you guys. We got It's Me. It's Me. It's DDP. Diamond Dallas Page as well as Brutus Beefcake from Legend Series 10. These are Target exclusives. I pre-ordered them about two months ago and finally, finally, we are adding them to the Brett O Live collection. That is the regular version of Brutus the Barber Beefcake before you guys even ask. The blue version is the variant. Hopefully I'll be able to find that in the wild very, very soon. But yes, guys, if you guys have seen the John Cena and freaking Vader review video, that review's been on the channel for at least probably a month or two now so if you haven't seen that one check it out and the only reason i'm saying that because these two are in this same series and it's it took a while it really did it took a while to get the ddp and the brutus beefcake but we finally have them here in the collection today we're going to be reviewing them and boxing them and i'm super excited there's a look at the packaging for both very similar just the different little spins on them just look at the side, you got DDP and the beefcake right there, and then you got them, same photo right there, just with a little swoop on the bottom. There's some info on the back for Brutus the Bar Beefcake, if you guys would like to pause the video to read. Other people on the set, you got Diamond Dallas Page, John Cena, Brutus Beefcake, and Big Van Vader. And then there's uh, DDP's little read-up, if you guys are interested in that. I love this art that uh, the Legends packaging does, which is very, very nice, very cool. And then there's a look at the top. Not much more at the bottom, so without further ado, let's get to it and crack both of these right out of the packaging. Alright guys, we got the figures out of the packaging, and let me just start off by saying solid figures right here. The Legends Elite line is up there with one of my favorite lines. Doesn't surpass the Ultimate Editions for me, but the Legends line is up there with one of my favorite lines. Just so freaking cool, capturing some moment in history when like a legend, just like these two men right in front of you, Beefcake, and Diamond Dallas Page were in the business, capturing their gear, capturing their look. It looks freaking amazing. We're going to take a closer look at the figures. Starting off first with Brutus Beefcake. Let's freaking go. This figure is awesome, man. They've only ever made Brutus the Barber beefcake figures we've never seen a brutus beefcake figure before but yes he is coming with the interchangeable hands right here you got the fisted ones which look very nice and then he also comes with the open ones which are already on the figure here he is with all of his accessories on looking stunning i love the glasses i believe that's a brand new mold for the glasses because it's a very long little stick going back to the ears we're also seeing this little accessory around his neck he's got the little silver bow and then the rest of it is black very cool the main Main freaking like attraction for this figure in my opinion is the yellow and black leopard print jacket look at that or entrance robe whatever on the little ends you get in the little black covers which is very cool and then right on the inside of here you are getting some velcro so if you're wondering if you could have it open just like that you can definitely do that and of course you could velcro it up just like that as well which I think is awesome there's a look at the back of it very cool. And then, of course, you are getting a title belt. You're getting the World Tag Team Championship, the silver design. I don't really know why they didn't go with the silver, like the shiny design. It's kind of odd to me that they didn't go with the shiny design. They went with more of like the basic look for the belt. Uh, I don't know if every single one of them is like that. But, yeah, mine is the basic look with just the regular, you know, gr like silverish gray. But they didn't add like the silver-like tone on it. I don't really know why. But it still looks pretty cool. Glad that we're getting it. Uh Rather than nothing, I think that's pretty cool. And here we have Brudai with all of his accessories off the figure. And here he is, starting off first with the head scan. Really nice. I think they captured him very well right there. Looking very nice. I like the paint. I like the, uh, the facial expression there. Nothing too crazy. Just the basic stern head. And no long hair. No long hair on this Brutus figure. Just he's got the regular short hair going on. Again, this is Brutus Beefcake, not Brutus the Barber beefcake very big difference there because no scissors you're also seeing this really nice torso right here you also got the little wrist gauntlets right there which match up with the interchangeable hands that i showed i'm really liking the color on that and it's like the like the pink leopard black print and then the the tights themselves are basically that entire deco but just yellow and black yellow and black leopard print surrounding the entire thing and again the variant's freaking blue dude do you know how sick that's gonna be i cannot wait to get that figure and then he's taught to top it all off you're getting the white laced up boots. Positioning now into Diamond Dallas. 
Page. And this is my favorite DDP figure they've ever done. Hands down, favorite one. Um, the differences from the differences from the old ones, we've only ever seen long hair. Just like Brutus Beefcake. We've only ever seen long hair with Diamond Dallas Page as well. Starting off first with the interchangeable hands. We're seeing the open interchangeable hands right here. So if you want to hold like a foreign object, of course you do have the black wrist tape on there as well. And also, we are getting the open hands right here, which are perfect, so you could do the little DDP logo. If it was an Ultimate Edition, you would completely be able to do it. But you could get them up there close enough, which is pretty cool, and it still looks really good. I'm a big fan of that. As far as accessory-wise, he is coming with the entrance jacket, which is stunning, by the way. It says DDP on the front. You're getting all these different lightning bolts going through, which are printed fantastically. Literally, that jacket makes the figure. Turning it around. Look at that decal. Come on. Look at that decal. You can see a little shadow of a face right between the two hands. You got the thunderbolts going on. Bang, man. So epic in red and silver. Just such a wicked entrance coat. And of course, you could remove the entrance coat just like so. Very easy to take off. Just like that. Put it aside there. And now, we're going to get a closer look at the figure itself. Starting off first with the head scan. I know I'm going to get questions about the earpiece. Yes, it does come off. As you can see, there's a little hole right on the side. And what you do is you grab the little headset and you can put it right in that hole. And look at how that looks. Literally right around his ear, perfectly molded. He can encourage people, do his DDP yoga if he wants. That's freaking amazing. And then there's the head scan, first time ever for that. I'm definitely a fan of the facial expression there. Sometimes Mattel nails it, sometimes they don't when it comes to the facial expressions, but this time they definitely nailed it. The eyes and the mouth and the beard all come combined to look exactly like DDP. There's a look at the hair. Again, the short hair design looking very nice. I like the color. Very, just a solid figure. You are getting the little star on the um, right peck there. Tattoo details are on fleek. He's got the black elbow plaids, black wrist tape. There are the open interchangeable hands I was talking about if you guys were wondering. Like the torso choice as well. Very nice. Moving down, we are getting a Shinsuke Nakamura style of pants and a little uh, mid -tor uh, mid leg piece there, which is pretty interesting. I'm glad that they went with that. I was not expecting to see a Shinsuke Nakamura piece, uh, but yeah, it still looks really good. We're getting the same logo that we saw in the jacket right on the left side of the pants with the hands and then the shadow in the center with the freaking lightning bolts. It just looks fantastic. That's the only logo on the pants, but I'm fine with it. It just looks so clean. Look at that, dude. Wow, very nice. Rest of the color of the pants is black, and then you also are getting the black boots, not kick pads, the black boots. That has been the review on the Diamond Dallas page and Brutus the Barber Beefcake Legend Series 10. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, again, check out the John Cena and the Big Van Vader review. I'll try to remember to leave a link up in the top right so you guys could check out that video or at the end of the video. Stay tuned for that. That is going to wrap up this review video for you guys. That has yet again been the Legend Series 10 Brutus Beefcake and Diamond Dallas page. Very solid figures right here. I like them both equally, like the accessories for the Brutus, the the look, the decals, and the new head skin of DDP. Literally freaking amazing. I love these two figures way more than the Big Van Vader and the Cena figures. They definitely did better with these. But yes, guys, that has again been the review on Brutus Beefcake and Diamond Dallas Page. Picked them up from Target.com and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bretto Live! Out!